Hi, this is Greg from OnlineLanguageAcademy.com and in this video I'm going to be answering some questions on the new Conversation Class ebook about wishes. So, keep watching. Right, if you are new here, please subscribe to the YouTube channel if your goal is to reach a high level of spoken English. That's what we do here, and yeah, in my business, Online Language Academy, teaches students via Skype to reach fluency and to speak English more confidently. So, if that's your goal, you can book a free trial class in the description below. Uh, right, let's start with these questions from the new ebook. And stay until the end because I've got a question for you and a new grammatical structure for you to use in your answer. All right, so uh, question number one. Ooh, second conditional. If I had three wishes, I would wish for... If I had three wishes, past. If I had three wishes, I would, hypothetical, I would wish for... Right, if I had three wishes, I would wish for other people. I, I have to be honest, if I ever make a wish, you know, on your birthday when you blow out the candles on your cake, or if you're lucky and in the sky you see a shooting star, these are typical situations when you make a wish. If I make a wish, I always wish for other people, okay? Usually health and happiness or things like that for other people people. Uh, so I'm not going to be too specific because if I told you, another second conditional, if I told you my wishes, they wouldn't come true. All right, come true means become reality. When we're talking about a wish, we say that a wish comes true. All right, I'm going to share with you, though, one wish, and that is the following. Uh, if you don't know already, I am English, but I live in the United States at the moment, and I'm going to share a photo with you now. And I wish that everybody felt like this. I wish that everybody felt like this. All right, focus on the on the grammar of that. I wish that everybody felt past simple like this. I uh, I think the world would be a better place if everybody felt like this. Not at all. Not at all. No. Um and I think the reason why money is not the answer to all our wishes is that when people wish, they usually wish for something that is completely, completely out of their control. Things that money can't buy, all right? Health, for example, or a job. You can't buy a job. You have to, uh, you know, earn it. Um, or, you know, a political situation, I'm sure, related to the photo I just shared with you, I'm sure a lot of people wished for a different result in the two important elections in the United Kingdom and the States over the past year. So, no, money can not. Uh, what was the question? No, money cannot answer our uh, wishes. Some wishes, sure, but not the good ones.
True happiness for me is healthy family and friends. Yeah, typical answer, I'm sure, but it's true. You know, you can do a lot in life, but you have to be lucky to have healthy family and a, and, and a healthy and happy selection of friends. And, you know, that's, kind of, again, it's out of your control. That's the main thing I would wish for, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's true happiness, it really is. Another definition of true happiness for me is, and it's happened in certain periods of my life, where I wake up in the morning and I just cannot wait to start the day, because life is so good. I just want to get out of bed and live my day. And I think when you feel like that, life is pretty good, hey? And uh, I would say that that is somewhere close to true happiness. All right, my question for you is, if you had one wish, what would you wish for? Okay, so a great opportunity to use the second conditional. If I had a wish, if I had a wish, I would wish for blah, blah, blah. Okay, you can answer in two different ways. One is with a noun, like I would wish for a million dollars, a big car, a big house, a healthy family, a happy wife, whatever, a happy life. Um, or... There's another construction. Let me give you a couple of examples. I would wish for my friend to get a job. All right, I would wish for my friend to get a job. I would wish for the election results to be different. I would wish for the weather to be nice on my wedding day. Okay, so that's the construction. If we're wishing for something else or someone else to do something. All right. Let me know if you have any questions and answer this question in the comments below. I can't wait to hear your wishes and all right, don't forget, you can download the free ebook that accompanies this conversation lesson. The link is in the description. You can also book a free class. The link is in the description. And I will be in touch with you very soon with more cool videos to help you reach a high level of spoken English. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.